Hi there! Today I have some very cool news to share with you, because today I would like to give you an introduction to the brand new Direct smartphone app for iOS and Android. The new Direct app brings a whole new user experience and not to mention user-friendliness to the Direct setup process than what you've been used to before. Until now you've had two choices on how to set up Direct, that's either with the desktop version for, for PC and Mac, or with the former smartphone app. That being said though, we've been recommending for quite some time now only to use the desktop apps, simply because the former smartphone app has been way too unstable and hasn't been updated in a few years. Direct has been working on a new smartphone app for a very long time now and it's finally here. The new app has been trimmed down into very simple steps so that it's extremely easy and quick to use for anyone setting up the system for the first time. With the new app, you don't have to know anything about filters or microphone calibration, EQ settings or even target curves. You simply connect your microphone to your NAD product, open the app and follow the four simple steps and then you're done. A very cool feature and probably the most important feature that's been added is that now the app features an auto target curve. This means for the initial um, target curve suggestion, the app will look at the energy in the room before correction and will suggest a target curve that preserves the original energy information. In short, the algorithm tries to understand the perceived base content in the uncorrected system and tries to set the target curve so that after room correction, the amount of perceived base is going to be similar. This means that even though you don't, uh, you, you do have the option to, to tilt the system to your liking using two very quick and easy controls. If you don't do anything and simply let the app suggest your target curve, you'll find that the new app will give you a much better sound in comparison to what expected based on your specific setup. I've already tested this feature in the beta app and I'm really, really impressed with the results and I think you are going to be as well. Although the new app is coming out, the desktop versions are still available and will work exactly like you're used to. These will still offer more flexibility for the more advanced user in, for example, adding more measurements for custom listening modes, doing custom target curves, doing subwoofer tuning and overall fine tuning to fit your exact preference. The new app is intended for easy setup for non-experienced users who simply need a high performing result with very little effort. Well, enough of my talking, let's get into the new Direct app. Step one is to open up the app. First, connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi as your NAD product. Connect your NAD microphone and mic dongle to the back of the NAD product. In this case, it's an M10. Download the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store and open the app. Step two is to select your device. The first window in the app shows you the direct enabled devices connected to your network. Choose the device you want to set up by pressing the NAD logo. Step three is the measurement page. In this window, you can set your measurement level and do the actual measurements with your microphone. To set the measurement level, press the green play button uh, in the lower right corner and the left speaker will now play a test tone. Use the volume slider to find your preferred level. As soon as you let go of the volume slider, it will stop adjusting the level. On the options button in the lower right corner, you will have the option to choose per speaker trim. This to do test tones on every speaker in your system but it's rarely needed. Uh, one speaker will be sufficient to set the level. For the main position measurement, place your microphone in the listening position exactly where you would place your head when listening. This first measurement needs to be quite exact for the best performance. Press the measurement button and the app now measures that precision. When the main position is measured, you can go on to the next positions. To do that, choose the next position 
by pressing it in the app and move your microphone so that it corresponds to the placement in your room. For the surrounding measurements, you don't need to be that precise with placement. Simply place the microphone in the vicinity of what's shown in the picture in the app. A good tip when setting up the microphone is to stand between the listening position and the speakers, facing the listening position, as the positions shown in the app will then correspond to what you're seeing as well. Measure the next position and go on to the next one and so on until you've done all seven measurements. In this example, I will simply do one main position measurement uh, to help speed things up. Dirac recommends a minimum of three measurements for the best result and will tell you this in a splash screen if you proceed with just one measurement. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's continue by pressing the filter design button. Now we've done the measurements, step four is the filter design. The filter design page is where you design your filter or the voicing of your system. The app will by now already have designed the auto target curve uh, as explained earlier. So unless you have specific, specific requirements to the voicing, go ahead and upload this suggestion. But let me first explain how to voice your sound. Voicing is now simply done with two very simple tilt sliders, one for low frequency and one for high frequency adjustment. And that's it. These are not just simple bass and treble controls. They control multiple parameters underneath, which creates the target curve for the system. So you don't need to download a target curve and need to draw and design your own curve like in the desktop app. Simply adjust the high and low frequency sliders to your liking and then you're done. It couldn't be any easier. Start by trying to export the default auto target curve first and then see how that sounds. And if you need to adjust the tilt of the system, uh, simply go back to the filter design page, adjust and export another filter. I would recommend at this stage that you save your project. To do that, press the three small uh, lines in the top right corner to go to settings, go to file and then save project. This way you can always return to this stage if you want to do a nil filter at a later stage. When you're satisfied with your filter, go to the filter export tab. The filter export is step five and the last step of the setup process. On the filter export page, you can choose where to upload your filter, but you can also manage your filters by renaming them or even deleting them from your, from your amplifier. You can always do this from the settings tab as well, but to upload your filter to an NAD product, simply choose a free slot out of the five available, give it a name and press save. The filter will now be uploaded and you'll be able to find it and listen to it in the Blue Us app under audio settings. And that's actually it. You're done and your system is now room corrected using Direct Live. Thank you for watching.